These days, 3D printers can work with a wide range of materials, from plastics to metals and even concrete. So why hasn't wood made the list? That question led to an innovative project in the United States. A team of American researchers developed a new printing material made by blending natural wood fibers with plant-based resins, both sourced from local forestry. Using this material, they printed and assembled four individual components to form a home known as Biohome 3D. The compact house spans 57 square meters and includes a full kitchen, sleeping area, living space, and bathroom. A major benefit of Wow, this structure is its full recyclability once it reaches the end of its life cycle. Not only is Biohome 3D the first ever bio-based 3D printed dwelling, but it also presents a budget-friendly alternative to traditional housing. Would you consider living in a home like this? In Japan, the company Hakusan once achieved a milestone by producing veneer slices as thin as 0.2 millimeters, establishing a new benchmark in the industry. But their innovation didn't stop there. They later created Sandfoot, an elegant wood, veneer wall covering. This unique material features a five-layer system that includes aluminum foil, giving it impressive flexibility and fire resistance. Thanks to its paper-thin thickness of only 0.3 millimeters, Sandfoot can be applied like conventional wallpaper without affecting usable space. It easily conforms to 90-degree corners and is used in everything from private residences to luxury, hotels, theaters, and other public interiors. Compared to nations with centuries of woodworking heritage, France's Arca workshop is relatively new. It was founded in 2009. Nevertheless, it quickly earned international praise for its imaginative wood innovations. One of its most notable creations is Woo Wood, a flexible veneer that can expand into 3D forms and return to flat shapes. For example, attaching Woo Wood panels to a wall can create functional storage pockets for items like books or phones. Its elasticity even makes it suitable for crafting bags and decorative containers like jewelry boxes that hold more than they seem to. Woodcrete may have originated back in the 1930s, but it remains a reliable construction material with ongoing updates, such as versions treated with ozone for improved performance. The base formula typically includes cement, sawdust, wood fragments, and chemicals like sodium silicate. This composite has several strengths. It's significantly lighter than brick, about half the weight per cubic meter. It cuts easily, and its porous surface accepts plaster smoothly. While its air permeability is a drawback in high wind areas, its long-standing use in private and commercial construction proves its lasting value. In Austria, builders have embraced a technique known as Nurholz. This system relies on vertically stacked solid timber elements that don't require any glues, insulation layers, or chemical finishes. The lightweight pieces, each weighing only about 15 kilograms, make it ideal for remote or restricted construction. Sites. These vertical structures are not only sturdy, but also boast an eightfold increase in load-bearing ability compared to horizontal options. With no need for complex formwork, the assembly process is both efficient and environmentally friendly. Since the first Neuerholz home was erected in the Austrian Alps in 2000, this technique has gained traction in countries like Germany, Italy, and France. Protecting timber components during building and transport is essential, and that's where the defense protective membrane comes into play. This transparent, self-sticking film allows markings to remain visible while guarding against moisture. It's breathable, allowing vapor release, and weighs only about 200 grams per square meter. Thanks to its advanced formulation, the membrane provides effective shielding for up to 12 weeks. Defense is produced by Rothoblas, an international company active in over 70 countries, offering specialized tools, fasteners, and accessories for wooden structures. Modvion currently holds the distinction of building the tallest wooden wind turbine on the planet. That's right, it's mostly constructed from engineered wood, although metal bolts and connectors are still part of the framework. By stacking seven laminated timber segments, the tower reaches a height of 105 meters. With its blades included, the full structure soars to 150 meters. Located in Sweden, this is not just a showpiece or prototype, 
it's a fully operational turbine integrated into the national power grid. Its 2 megawatt output can generate enough electricity for around 400 households. Developers also note that as the height of wooden turbines increases, the cost advantage over steel designs becomes more apparent. Additionally, transporting wooden components is easier thanks to their modular construction. Don't be alarmed. These craftsmen know what they're doing. They're constructing a unique type of structure known as a reciprocal roof. This architectural style relies on each beam or rod resting on and supporting the next, creating a self-sustaining network. The weight of the roof is distributed entirely along the room's perimeter, removing the need for columns in the middle. When built with other precision, this design is incredibly stable. You can even try a scaled down version at home using matchsticks and online diagrams. For a hands-on demonstration, check out videos showing carpenters build one using 16 interlocking rafters. Though attaching roofing materials takes some effort, the finished structure has a breathtaking appearance. Feeling Wood's founder, after years of working with wood plastic composite projects, recognized several recurring problems in the industry. His solution? A line of textured 3D boards and a revolutionary clamp system that makes the installation process far quicker and simpler. These clamps require no complex tools, just insert, twist, and press to secure a panel. This innovation can reduce installation time by nearly 60%, and is especially helpful for clients who want a hidden fastening system. Though designed specifically for use with feeling wood products, the clamps enhance the project's visual appeal and are easy enough for hobbyists and first-time installers to use effectively. The company Frères developed and patented a modern type of structural panel made by layering and bonding thin wood veneers in specific arrangements. These panels perform just as well as traditional solid wood beams, according to the manufacturer. Their reliability is proven by a 12-story building in Portland that was constructed using this technique. This method not only speeds up construction, but also lowers overall expenses, making the final housing units more affordable. The panels are made from Douglas fir, a tough and versatile softwood known for its strength, even used in specialized projects like building minesweepers. These panels come in multiple configurations, including designs that can be shaped into support columns. Two architects came up with the idea behind the Immerso Compact Cabin. Although it only measures six square meters, it's designed to comfortably house four people. One of its biggest selling points is its rapid assembly. A team of four people with no construction background can fully erect it within two hours, using nothing more than the ability to connect plywood pieces. Immerso acts as both a guest room and a recreational retreat. Its transparent roof and walls give visitors an unobstructed view of the natural surroundings. The cabin shown in the video is placed in the Italian Alps, perfectly suiting the panoramic. Experience. Privacy can be managed easily with curtains when needed. At the University of Maryland in College Park, researchers conducted an unusual experiment involving wood and heat, not for cooking, but for science. They boiled wood for two hours in a solution, including sodium hydroxide, to strip away the lignin, the substance responsible for the wood's color and rigidity. What remained was a transparent material. After reinforcing it with epoxy resin, they discovered that it was five times stronger than its original form and still recyclable. This new material could pave the way for a breakthrough in sustainable construction. Transparent wood may soon become a valuable asset in designing modern homes, commercial buildings, solar panels, and optical technologies. As global population trends surge, estimated to hit 8.5 billion by the year 2030, according to the United Nations, access to personal living space is becoming increasingly scarce. A G20 study warns that nearly 40% of the population could be without a home of their own by then. Enter Gablock Timber a Belgian firm that's offering a practical solution. Their building system uses interlocking wooden blocks equipped with a tongue and groove design and anchoring, system that fits into pre-drilled slots. With this approach, a small team of just two or three people, even without construction experience, can erect a compact house in just a few days. No need for extra insulation or interior finishing, and the entire home can be disassembled and moved if necessary.
It's a highly economical model, with a base cost of approximately $2,940, ideal for those prioritizing function over luxury. Another innovative system, Brickawood, also champions simplicity and sustainability. Their homes are constructed from specially designed timber bricks that snap together without adhesives, nails, screws, or heavy machinery. In one project demonstration, a team of four people built a full-sized house using this method in just a 10 days. This low-impact technique allows for unusual flexibility. You could even construct one on top of a city high-rise. Plus, the modular blocks pack down to a fraction of their built size, making transportation easier and more energy efficient. Aside from homes, Brickerwood's system can be used to create modular interior walls for offices or apartments. Wood also plays a key role in thermal insulation, and Gudex Ultratherm is a leading example. Available in panel thicknesses between 5 and 16 centimeters, this wood fiber insulation is well suited for both new builds and retrofits. In emergencies, these panels can even function as a makeshift roof for up to three months. The material is breathable, moisture resistant, and acts as a wind barrier. No sealing tape, caulk, or nails required. Thanks to a patented tongue and groove system, installation is fast and efficient, which is crucial for time-sensitive projects. Best of all, the panels perform well across all seasons, offering insulation against both summer heat and winter cold. Cross-laminated timber, better known as CLT, is poised to revolutionize large-scale construction. By 2027, the CLT market is projected to reach $2.3 billion, growing at an annual rate of about 12.5%. Made by layering planks of softwood in alternating directions, CLT panels are strong, stable, and ideal for sustainable construction. Norway's 18-story wooden building is a prime example, and a 7,500-square-meter school showcased in this video further demonstrates CLT's range. Its popularity stems from its eco-friendliness and ease of use, since it doesn't shrink. Windows and doors can be installed right away. Moreover, seismic tests in Japan confirm that CLT structures can endure earthquakes as strong as magnitude 7.5. Not all timber construction relies on modern technology. In East Asia, craftsmen continue to use ancient building techniques that forgo nails altogether. In these traditional homes, wooden pillars are not even anchored. They simply rest atop their foundations. The secret to their durability lies in meticulous joinery and carefully calculated friction. Though the building process is slow and demands precision, the end result is both structurally sound and artistically stunning. It's a testament to the idea that sometimes true craftsmanship is worth the time. On the campus of the University of British Columbia in Canada, the Brock Common Student Residence stands as a remarkable feat of fast-track building. The structure was completed in under 70 days, an astonishing four months faster than typical builds of similar size. The secret, a hybrid design that combines CLT panels with local wood, resting on a traditional concrete foundation. Metal was used strategically in high stress areas like stairwells and elevator shafts. Two large concrete cores provide structural stability. Interestingly, the construction crew even paid homage to the famous lunch atop a skyscraper photo. From 1932, let's zoom in on two vital structural elements, supports. The first, designed by Pitzel, is ideal for anchoring wooden posts to concrete surfaces, perfect for vertical installations in timber builds. The second, from Sika, is geared toward terrace construction. It's height adjustable and supports loads of up to 329 kilograms, making it an adaptable solution for both steel and concrete setups. To finish, let's take a serene walk through the Weston Burt Arboretum in the United Kingdom, established in 1829. With some trees over a century old, the grounds offer a rich botanical experience. Thanks to a thoughtfully designed elevated trail, visitors can now enjoy a 13-meter-high perspective. The path extends for 300 meters and is crafted from large timber beams joined with steel connectors and spans of up to 10 and a half meters. Endorsed by Queen Camilla, the Arboretum's patron, this addition has nearly tripled visitor numbers and continues to delight with its blend of natural beauty and skilled engineering.